Hey YouTube, this is Everything Pan here, and today I'm doing a tutorial on how to install Windows XP Starter Edition in VirtualBox or VMware. It's another Windows XP Edition, and it's more meant for lower spec PCs, kind of like Windows Fundamentals for legacy PCs was, but it's a version of Windows XP sort of for it. It's a little different, it's the Starter Edition. It's been requested, so I'm going to do a tutorial on it, so let's begin by doing the tutorial of starter edition and if you don't have VirtualBox or VMware you need to go ahead and download that from the links in the description along with WinRAR and the ISO will also be in the description um, so and I'm not at this time I don't remember if there's a product here or not if there is I'll include it in the description with the ISO if there isn't then yeah so we're gonna create a machine We're just gonna leave it at 32-bit and hit next. And we're gonna bump her up to 512, but you can leave it where it's at. Hit create, and then create the virtual hard drive. Then go find the ISO. Mine is right here. And hit OK. And start it up. Very, very easy. So that's got the uh, Windows setup screen again in the blue screen. And um, now it'll go through the process as usual of setting up Windows. And it says Windows XP Home Edition, but it will say start. I'll show you once it's downloaded, or not downloaded, installed. So hit enter to continue. And then you're going to accept the license agreement by hitting F8. And then you're going to hit enter to install in this ARM partition space and use the NTFS file system quick format. And then we'll format the drive and then after that it will copy the files over into the drive and then it will get to the point where you can start setting up Windows XP Starter Edition. So now it will hit the reboot point, so we're going to go ahead and either hit enter or let the time roll. doesn't matter what you do here. It will restart the machine. Don't press any key to boot from CD, but leave it in just in case it still needs it for the setup. And we'll get Windows XP in. And now it'll, it still says Home Edition, but I'll show you once it's installed. It will say Starter Edition, but it'll say Setup will continue with, or finalize in 39 minutes. It won't, it won't take that long. So it'll install devices, and then we'll go from there. Okay, so now it comes up with regional and language options. Put it to what you need to, and hit Next. And you'll type in a name. I'll just type in everything. EPAN, my channel name, hit next. And you do need a product key, in fact. So um, I'm going to enter that in quick for you guys, and I'll be back in a sec. Okay, so you actually can skip this, I just remembered. So I think maybe for all the ones with product keys, you can skip by hitting next and hitting no. Then you type in your computer name. Looks good. Hit next. And then your time zone. And next and now it's going to finish installing Windows XP Starter Edition but it's going to go through a quick uh, network dialog here just hit next and now it should copy everything over so now what we need to do is just let that sit for a while and I'll be back with you guys in a minute okay so it now restarts it may say press any key to boot from CD or DVD don't do that um, so now you're just gonna so now it'll do the display settings, is what I meant to say. It kind of jumped ahead on me real quick. Um, you'll see a screen that says Windows XP Starter Edition, but click OK. If the mouse is a lot bigger on this, or the cursor, there you are. There it is. Windows XP Starter Edition, right there. And I, believe, I don't know if there's music or not. I guess we'll find out. <laughs> So 
so there is indeed music. So I hit next. Hit help or not right now, doesn't matter. And hit next. Now it's going to check for internet connectivity. And hit no on this. And hit next. And then you're ready to go. And I believe it'll play the log. I don't believe it'll play the log on. I was going to say it was going to play the log on sound, but it already did it. So there it is Microsoft Windows XP Starter Edition. So if you, even if you hit, uh, I can't do it for some reason, but if you hit right click on my computer and hit properties. And if you do that as well, there it is. That's how to install Windows XP Starter Edition in VirtualBox or VMware. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate all the support you guys have given me lately with all the subscribers and likes and all that good stuff it's been amazing so we're getting um, closer and closer to 2000 subs which is insane to think about that but you know it's just how YouTube works I guess but um, like the video down below if you enjoyed comment your ideas down below as well and don't forget to subscribe for more videos share I forgot to say share uh, share the video like share comment and don't forget to subscribe once again thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video